Hello there, sweet friends, and welcome back to my channel. So, as you can see by the title, um, we're going to be talking about mental health today. And I'm not going to lie, this is a very vulnerable moment for me because as a member of the Christian community, I have noticed that so many of us, and I'm going to say it right now, including me, tend to sweep mental illness under the rug. In the past, when I struggled with mental illness, I have felt like I wasn't good enough, like I wasn't a good enough Christian, like I wasn't godly enough, like I wasn't trusting in God enough. But sweet friends, that is not the case at all. And I'm gonna go more into that. I actually have so much scripture um, to share with you about that. And hopefully this can help you if you're struggling as well. So. I was recently diagnosed with general anxiety disorder and I know a lot of people know what anxiety is and there's a normal healthy anxiety and that is like when you get a little anxious before a test and that anxiety can help you study a little bit more to make sure that you're on your game that you're prepared or to get prepared for a job interview that anxiety can be normal and can be healthy and then there's the not so healthy anxiety and that anxiety is almost like a devil on your shoulder that is constantly feeding you the worst case scenario in every situation this anxiety can cause constant worry fear and doubt and it can be so just heavy and so burdening and the reason why I'm making this video today is because I want to share with you some of the things that have helped me I want to start out by saying you guys that I am NOT a therapist I've been blessed enough that I saw a Christian therapist who has helped me in this recovery and healing process but I'm not a therapist some of the things that I'm sharing here are things that my therapist has helped me learn and some healthy habits that my therapist has encouraged um, but I'm not a therapist y'all so I encourage you, if you struggled for so long like me, see a therapist. God has given us these people to help us in life. Um, we're, we, we can't do everything on our own and God will help us. But like I said, God has sent us these people to help us. So I'm sharing these things that can hopefully help you. Because sweet friends, we all deserve to be in that stage of healing and recovery. None of us deserve to have this weight of anxiety or depression on us. But I want to say this right now and I want to highlight it, bold it, capital letters. There is absolutely nothing wrong with you if you struggle with anxiety or depression or mental illness. There is absolutely nothing wrong with you. It's not that you're not good enough. It's not that you don't have a good enough relationship with God. We have all dealt with things, sweet friends, and what I've learned is that the biggest thing that causes anxiety is trauma. So many of us have struggled with trauma in our childhood and even in our adult life. I know I have for sure. Um, and that can cause anxiety. And if we don't acknowledge it for what it is, if we, if we don't face it head on, then it's going to keep dragging us down, sweet friends. And I want to share with you what has helped me. First, I want to share this verse with you, though. This comes from John 16, 33, and it says, I have said these things to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulations, but take heart, I have overcome the world. So this says it right there, sweet friends. In this world you will experience tribulations, you will experience anxiety, you will experience mental health, you will experience depression. So stop pretending like it's not there. Stop pretending like because you struggle with these things that you're not good enough. Sweet friends, we live in a fallen world. And until we go to heaven, until we get our glorified bodies, we are going to struggle. So let's just acknowledge it and call it what it is. So the first thing that has helped me is to establish a solid night and morning routine. So many of us do not care for ourselves enough. We don't prioritize ourselves enough. And I know that I'm that person, y'all. I am that person. <laughs> um, and if I wasn't, I wouldn't be sharing it with you. I am that person who, who doesn't practice self-care enough, who doesn't um, just prioritize themselves enough. And the biggest thing that has helped me is meditation. 
I make sure to add meditation to my night routine and to my morning routine because sweet friends, Bible time, prayer time, and meditation is a form of self-care. So if you're not practicing that enough, you are not caring for yourself enough, sweet friends. We need time with our Heavenly Father. We need time with God every single day to unpack those struggles to unpack those those feelings of depression or anxiety y'all because again it's a weight that continues to drag us down so if we don't acknowledge it and we don't give it to god if we don't if we don't uh tell god what's going on with us we're gonna keep getting dragged down sweet friends so i encourage you to make a solid night routine and a solid morning routine and to make sure you put meditation as a priority and both of those routine sweet friends in the morning and at night unpack those anxieties unpack those fears unpack those feelings of sadness of sorrow of depression sweet friends because God is our refuge because God is our peace and in a world of tribulation and in a world of of sorrow and anxiety God is peace and so meditation is what I practice morning and night um and I practice Christian meditation. I use an app called Abide, and they have meditations for if you're struggling with grief, with depression, with anxiety. It's a completely free app. You can pay for the extra meditations and like more time. Um, they also have meditation for sleep. I know that helps me out so much, y'all. Um, at the end of the night, especially like if we go to bed and we continue to carry those those things from the day before into the next day, y'all, it's just so unhealthy. So practicing that meditation every night before you go to bed and in the morning right when you wake up just just talking to your heavenly father just sinking in to his peace has just been so beneficial and also um to to add to the morning and night routine some of the things that i practice are just self-care i know whenever i um struggle with anxiety i'm just gonna be 100 percent real y'all i did not practice enough self-care and that includes like hygiene and things like i didn't practice it enough because when when we just feel too anxious when we can't even look at ourselves in the mirror sweet friends it's hard to look in the mirror when we're struggling with these things so i encourage you to take that more to take that morning and night routine to give yourself that time to practice your hygiene to do whatever it is you need to do um devotion also meditation and devotion to me go hand in hand so i'll meditate and then i'll get into my word or vice versa you can do them separately you can do them together i love to do my meditation and then get into my word after that um but y'all it just helps me so much um just taking that time to give my fears and anxieties to God because the Bible says cast your cares to God we don't need to be continuing to hold on to these things sweet friends because again they are going to drag us down so that's my first piece of advice practice self-care every night and every morning get into your word and practice meditation so the next thing that has really helped me is mindfulness. And I want to be clear. I don't practice mindfulness in the way that the world practices mindfulness. Like, oh, the universe, blah, blah, blah. No, no, ma'am. No, sir. I practice mindfulness in a biblical sense. And I want to share a verse with you right now that has really helped me. This comes from Isaiah 26, 3. And it says, you keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Sweet friends, let your anxiety be a reason to seek God. In those moments that you are feeling so much fear or so much stress, so much worry, I encourage you to take inventory of those feelings and to give it to God. God, whatever it is that you might be struggling with, sweet friends, even if it's not anxiety, whatever it is, take inventory of those moments and just give it to God. Take time to pray and to meditate, whatever it is you need to do. Um, I'll, I'll give you an example. The other day, I was feeling very frustrated. I was feeling very upset. And instead of pushing that emotion back or lashing out, I took a minute to be mindful, to say, heaven, okay, you're feeling frustrated. Why are you feeling this way? Okay, let's take time to get into God's word. Let's take time to get into meditation, to get into prayer so that we can deal with this instead of continuing to just sweep it under the rug so that later we can lash out or that we can just continue to get weighed down. Either way, sweet friends, it's going to come out one way or the other. 
So we need to just deal with these feelings, to deal with these emotions, to be mindful. Another way I practice mindfulness is I just take inventory of what's going on around me, whether I'm out on a walk or laying in bed. Take in the sights, the smells, the feels, the sensory, like a touch. You know, this blanket feels so warm. How am I feeling right now? I feel so calm. I smell my lavender diffuser. Um, you know, like maybe even have a verse to memorize in those moments, you know? But that has helped me out so much, sweet friends. Mindfulness, but in a biblical sense. <laughs> and by the way, if you have any questions about any of these things that I'm discussing, please leave them in the comments below. I'm not a therapist, but I can tell you what's helped me and I can tell you what God's word tells me. The last scripture that I want to remind you of sweet friends is Psalm 18 22. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverance, my God, my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield, and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Sweet friends, we wouldn't need refuge. We wouldn't need that if we didn't struggle. Okay, so I just want to tell you that right now you are valid. I don't care what anybody else has told you, sweet friends, you are valid. We live in a fallen world, a world of tribulation. So if you're struggling right now, you are valid. So please don't continue to sweep those feelings, those emotions under the rug. Let's deal with them, sweet friends. Let's face them head on and let's allow God to be our rock. Yes, he has put us in a fallen world, but he will give us peace if we seek him. I love you so much, sweet friends, but more importantly, Jesus loves you. I'll see you in the next one. Stay beautiful. Bye.